all right guys uh, welcome welcome to our meeting um, everybody uh, so from my side i got three agenda items one um, our social selling is going at full speed right 38000 people have been con contacted that's amazing we uh, want to see how we can bring the same kind of speed into our own marketing can somebody explain this agenda item to me jamari bahana what does this mean to you mohammed joel anybody john bosco can you tell me what this means our social selling is going at full speed we need to see how we can bring social marketing to the same speed yeah thank you so much the yeah. way i understand it is that uh, we've been contacting a client one by one Yes. And then reach a good number. Yes. But regarding raising awareness or just uh, approaching uh, the broader audience, we are still behind. Yes. We need to set some strategies to also increase the social marketing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bang on. Bang on. on yeah. Just to add on that. Huh? Yes. Yes. Go um, ahead, you know, with social selling, uh, we've uh, been uh, contacting, you know, a potential client on daily basis mm -hmm. so can we do the same for social media marketing can we be you know uh, posting every day you know can we be putting the same energy the same effort on day in day out for social media marketing that way absolutely brother absolutely bahana that's exactly what we want okay we you know just think about this right you know it's probably my mistake you know it's probably all of our mistake we have been focusing heavily on this one to one thing right one to one uh, because i i do believe this one to one is a is one of the most powerful weapons we have in our hand it is the most powerful weapon the problem right now is you know please don't get me wrong when i say this okay please don't misunderstand me uh, let me take another example right for a one to one to work you know um, i i don't know how to say this mohammed you know maybe you can help me um you know in my world of business okay um here is my world okay let me go back this is me right this is me um this is me um this is my profile okay uh, i have a certain standing i have a certain credibility okay so 19000 uh, people are connected to me uh, you know i i am you know they are making speeches uh, you know all over the place this is my article this is my speech in the world economic forum you know i have written some nice things i have worked for some credible organizations uh, you know i have had good positions i'm in the board of this company you know not bad you know i i have a certain standing so when i stand somewhere here and i talk to people who are my you know my equal in the business world it almost always everybody accept my messages everybody like nearly 100% you you are able to understand what i'm saying are you able to understand what i'm saying you know when two people are at the same or at the you know equal level you know the connections and everything you know gets accepted really quickly okay but when let's say me i'm here i'm trying to talk to the chief executives of um, the fortune 500 companies you, you are able to get my point i i know you know i'm i'm actually you know showing just give me one second i just want to mute people who are talking sorry sadik i think you know you are talking your your background music is coming so when when two people are trying to connect so when i try to connect with all um, you know ceos let me just show you a, a real example of when i did that okay so this i did that and i i did at some point in time so i try to connect with you know the, the ceos um, of you know one uh, the thing uh, let me just show you that uh, of one industry so let me take that industry i took a very difficult industry say manufacturing electrical and electronic manufacturing um and i think civil something i think a very very difficult civil engineering yeah very difficult industry and then i 
connected with all you know uh, ceos you know uh, around 1000 uh, ceos you know that i connected with and i am just showing you my first degree connections right now uh, look how many people connected back with me only 77 right so when 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 you are somewhere and when you are hitting way above your weight you know let's say two people are boxing you know the you are only, you are at 5 feet and the other person is 7 feet you have to punch above you know to win that game right you have to really go um, so that's exactly what happened in in my world also we are trying to punch very high right and when you try to do that it will not be all 100% will never connect with you if if 20% of them connect with me in this in my case it was like you know approximately around 20% connected with me i'm happy right and that is exactly what uh, and and the reason why even this 20% will connect with you is because the message you are carrying is of great value if the message that you are carrying is not of great value nobody will connect with you be very uh, you know this thing so which is why which is the basis of all the things that we do uh, i hope i'm making sense i'm going a little bit too much uh, you know um you know a little bit too much uh, not really required for this meeting but i'm trying to make uh, you know you know talk about my um my own experience and why i believe you know one to one is so important right so one to one is super important do not ever let it go right um, so francois today morning you asked me uh, i contacted 200 clients why nobody has given me a job i want to show you you know uh, this leaderboard right um these are the people who have got job already of course there are people below who also got job so kasi has got a job um sheila no westin yes right so if you look at it sadak with 1150 clients he has not yet got a job donald with 1049 has not yet got a job Sheila with thousand forty six has not yet got a job. So, Francois, if you are thinking that why you are not getting the reward yet, um, then you know, you know, I'm just showing you the reality. This is the reality. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, but you know, uh, so that you know, we all can obviously you know. Um, the the entire bottom everybody most of them have already got a job so you know this is not the only thing we have more than you know um 50 60 people you know who are working right now so you know don't get get discouraged because this green this green is just our leaderboard right so the next job what a uh, next job so we have got a next job right now um, and i need to give it to you know sadak um i don't know whether sadak is there in this meeting i don't think he is yeah yeah this is also something that i don't understand you know it is he has done such a brilliant job but he has not turned up for this meeting uh, but even though even so i'm chasing sadak for the last two days to give him the job but uh, i'm not able to find him which is very very strange by the way uh, just in case if we can't find sadak in the next maybe day or so then we will have to give the job to you know donut or uh, donald whatever and then the next job will go to sheila uh, the next one will go to uh, ezra etc etc you know um, and this list is you know changing every single day so don't think you know i i am taking this list only at the time at the time when a client says he's going to give a job okay i'm not taking this previous days list or the you know it is real time whenever a client says i have a job and i want to hire somebody i create this list i look at who's the highest and then i give it to them yeah so that's been the process that i've been following and it's brilliant it's been working you know brilliantly um so for example kisha got the job a few days ago martha has got it um so all these people have got it so i don't want to keep on making them green but you know we know we know that they all have it okay cool so this is our first agenda item we we want to go full speed we are already going full speed in selling one to one selling we want to do the same thing in marketing that's the first agenda item and i want to see how we can do that i need some ideas my second agenda item is um uh 
you know social media marketing for an individual versus a company i just need to go get my door uh, i you know can somebody explain this you know uh, is paul here in this meeting paul padiat or uh, or bahana can can you just explain this to our team i just need to go take you know take the door uh, what is the difference between marketing for an individual and marketing for a company let me uh, just you know put something out here so that it's easy for you to you know explain this um can you would you be able to do this bahana what is this thing called uh, code it right here um, yeah his name is uh, stefan yeah look at this this is what i proposed um just read this i'll be back in a jiffy Apil tena live ku sogro dah. Hi hey everybody. Everybody is very quiet. So yeah, waiting. <laughs> sorry for that i just need to go open my door actually so um so this is the second one you know what is the difference between so far we have been working only for individuals right social media marketing for individuals uh but uh, recently uh, two of my clients you know one i just showed you uh, asking me how can you do it for my company page and i did not even you know um uh, you know think too much this is what we are currently doing for our own company page so what is a company page this is our company page isn't it like uh, just to show you um so if if you, you can do social media marketing for me as an individual right so that means you will be posting this right so this is what you will be doing you will be creating different different post 
and you will be you know uh, putting it over here correct so like this so you will be doing like this correct so uh, this is uh, social media marketing for me as an individual but if you have to do the same for uh, 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 let's say you know a company then you will do it for this page this is the company page is this is this clear to everybody what's the difference between an individual and a company right so this is the company page uh, you know it's it's very looking very very different from what uh, you know as an individual right um, so it's telling me i had 368 visitors i had 203 new followers um, you know we've got um, you know 4500 uh, impressions etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, again just give me one second guys so um yeah so very different to an individual isn't it 71 uh, people have clicked on some button uh, etc this has gone up this has gone down you know all that is here um i can invite my connections to follow um, uh, you know the company uh, there is 100 uh, you know credits available every month uh, there are 744 followers you know you, you see this is all very different this is very different to uh, recommend to employees you know so for example westin is doing this every day she comes uh, she logs in and then she goes here uh, i think she has already done all these posts um, you know uh, i hope she has left one for me to do but uh, uh, i don't think it is available ah see look at this yes notify employees okay so until uh, mohammed uh, abdul kadir he she has already done it but kisha she has not done it so i'm going to do it right in front of your eyes so there is a post of kisha imagine this is also a post of a company right so by clicking here right uh, oh she has already done this today looks like westin has notified employees recently yeah she has done it so i can't do it now okay so by pressing this button tomorrow Uh, i will be able to notify all the employees of step up um, you know uh, this particular post so it is just a simple click and yes that's it only two things but somebody has to do it every day you see so so that's that's all you know uh, slightly different from social media marketing right so we'll we'll talk about that uh, oh, sorry uh, i may have to just keep on moving back and forth mm. so that is the thing social media marketing for the individual and social media marketing for the company right so it's quite interesting you know this whole two things um okay come up with a post showcasing you know so these are the four things that we said we will do in that i'll i'll anyway cover that you know uh, slowly uh, okay that's second and the third is uh, yeah this is again super important and it is very very much related to um what i said so Uh, so what is happening you know uh, is this right uh, you know we have connected with 38000 people okay and it it looks like you know we probably are getting you know some so far i think some 30 meetings we would have done uh, or maybe a little bit more uh, let's say 30 or 40 meetings so maybe like say if um, maybe let's say 30 meetings so that you know it's easy to remember right we have done 30 meetings Uh, we might have got around um, maybe two uh, thousand people accepting our connections, um, and maybe you know two uh, hundred people engaging, and thirty people meeting with us. Okay, so if you look at the percentages of this, right? Um, what is the percentage um, equal to this divided by the total? So the percentage is five percent. Okay, so roughly only five percent are connecting back. Faran, I'm going to put you. Uh, oh, thank you. Not because I don't want to look at your video. Just that you know, we'll save some uh, thing for that. So five percent of the people are connecting back, and uh, how much is this uh, divided by this two thousand? Okay, out of this two thousand people who are connecting back, ten percent are engaging with us. Out of the two hundred. Fifteen percent are meeting with us. Okay, so this is roughly the mathematics behind 
the work that all of you have done together these are not exact numbers you know they could be they could be not 2000 maybe it could be 3000 okay i'm i'm pretty sure it's much more than 3000 right uh, pretty sure out of uh, across all of you guys right um and it may not be engaging uh, so so there is more than 8% uh, you know connecting back 7% uh, of those connecting back are meeting with us and 15% of those who are meeting with us are um you know and probably we have got uh, maybe five jobs so far from these people uh, so if i do that math divided by 30 yes this 17% so these are these are the people who are connecting back connecting back these are the people who are engaging with us these are the people who are meeting with us i mean meeting you know real zoom meeting and these are the jobs that we've got. I'm putting Shukri on mute. Okay, is this, is this clear to everybody? Meeting, jobs, everything is clear. Connecting, engaging, meeting, and jobs. Okay. So just to show you, if this is the equation of our hard work, okay, it is not amazing, but it is not bad. Okay, remember this. This is not at all bad. This is how this is incredible, actually. You know, if you ask me, but it is not. It is never going to be as good as if I had done the, exactly the same thing, right? If I have done exactly the same thing, so instead of you, if I, if me, if I have done it, or if um, you know uh, any of these uh, other uh, you know uh, slightly more credible people, you know, if they do it, this number would be something like this. You know, or even even more than that, actually. You know, it is easily more than twenty percent. When I when every, I have never had a situation where less than twenty percent are connecting. So, which is why you know the reason why. So, if I take my own thing, I I don't think I would have connected with thirty eight thousand people. I would have probably connected with um, so far, let's say um, in the last three years, I would have connected with ten thousand people easily. And uh, easily some 2,000 people would have connected back with me. Um, you know, um, wait a minute. This, um, is it right, this one? Uh, no, this one second. Yeah, so yeah, so 20% of them have connected with me and uh, easily uh, more than uh, 200 would have engaged with me. And then uh, I would have met with at least 100 people, easily 100 meetings or even more than that. And I would have got at least, uh, you know, uh, around 75 jobs. This is my equation. I mean, this is really important for people to understand. Huh? Okay, do, you, do you understand the difference between the Kakuma equation? And this is just me. You know, can somebody explain this to 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 everybody? You know, is this is this clear? It's really important what I'm saying. Huh? What happened? Nobody, you, you, you know, you don't understand or you, you're worried about explaining this? Uh, no, I think it's clear, Anisha. Huh? So you're just trying to, so, you know, put out a difference between, you know, us from uh, Kakuma, uh, you know, sending out the connections to potential clients and uh, uh, somebody with much credibility doing it like yourself. You know, yeah. the difference, the, you know, the outcome huh, of uh, yeah. the exercise would bring to the table. Yeah. I think that's what you're trying to, you know, say. Mm. No, absolutely. No, thanks, Bahana. I think it's 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 as simple as that. And and I'm not, uh, you know, um, I, I, what I'm trying to do is, you know, why is my equation better than your equation, right? You know, we have to ask that question. Yeah. Why is my equation, uh, Bahana? Why is my? Can you tell me four reasons why uh, why 
when i connect one, 10000 one, yeah one yeah tell me the yeah, one one there is uh you know your profile you know uh, the credibility my, that uh, you know profile yeah uh, profile the way my profile looks standing you know yeah yes uh, that's number one okay um, Number two, you know, you, you are standing, you know, as a, a leader, you know, in your particular industry. So okay. whenever you reach out to, you know, to somebody, you know, let's say in, in, in your own circle, in your own field, you know, yes. so there is that uh, that credibility, the way he takes the message is totally yes. different from uh, yes. somebody like me, you know, would reach out to the same person and the, the same weight, uh, you know, he would yes. give to that message is totally different Absolutely. because he has more trust in you than Can you, know, you yeah, yeah. Me. can you tell me, can you tell me, Bahana, the way my profile looks is very easy, right? It's just um, how it looks, you know, how my photo looks, how my title yeah. looks. There, okay. there, there is something you mentioned. There is something okay. you mentioned right at the beginning, you know. Um, uh, I mean, these two things, huh? the social selling and social, you know, marketing. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, you have got, uh, you know, um, you've, you're connected to credible people. That's number one. Number two, uh, you are very active on LinkedIn in terms of sharing, you know, uh, good content to your audience and all these things. So you, your account is active. Uh, apart from you reaching out to these, uh, these, uh, you know, these potential clients, you're also feeding them with the relevant content. Uh, uh, number two, um, you know, you, your profile, I mean, it's outstanding, you know, you have got some sort of credibility in terms of um, your personality in your industry and all these things. Yeah, I think, you know, those few things, as okay. per my, you know, understanding. Sure. Uh, anybody wants to add? There is an important thing that Bahana has Yes, to, no, and very another, thing, yeah, yeah, another thing I want to add, mm. even your geographical area contributes very good, a lot. Very good, very good. Very important. Very, very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but let me also tell you, Jamarie, the word Kakuma refugee camp has, I'll tell you, is as important as London, you know, you might think that is a bit no, not very good. No, 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 no Anis. I do. <laughs> myself, I don't. Agree. You don't agree? Agree, Shem? Okay, no, no. You know, see, look, this is the problem, right? We both think differently. I always feel that, you know, I know London is very important, but I think there is a certain advantage with the word Kakuma. I don't know. I, I feel that very strongly, you know. I feel very strongly there is a huge advantage with Kakuma refugee camp. For some reason, uh, Shem, I know you don't agree with me because, you know, even Jamari didn't agree with me. Uh, this earlier. is Nestor, Nestor, not Shem. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, Nestor. Uh, oh, okay, because Shem's voice, I'm hearing Shem unmute. I, I don't see, yeah, yes, Bahana. Yeah, uh, you know, I also agree with you, at the same time disagree, you know. Uh, this is based on the, the narrative, you know, that uh, people have portrayed about, you know, Africa in terms of uh, service delivery. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you see, if you look at Kakuma in a humanitarian uh, uh, perspective, uh, Kakuma would give us much, much, uh, you know, advantage, you yes. know, uh, for us who are in Kakuma because it, it comes with a lot of power, you know, even for somebody giving an opportunity to people from a refugee camp so yeah. he gets something apart from the services that we are giving him, but he's also contributing toward, you know, uh, this uh, big, uh, you know, big uh, humanitarian cause and all these things. So that's the, the, the big picture I'm seeing from that. And, uh, but, you yeah. know, no, 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 you, of, uh, you yeah, know. Yeah. So, 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 yes. so, so, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes. So, hi, Bahana, we have to take advantage of the humanitarian angle and we have to, yes. and we have to, you know, plug the, problem of service delivery, not only service delivery, more than service delivery scam, you know. Yeah, yeah, that trust, you know, that yes. people believing that people from this angle can actually deliver, you know, that there is that trust. So that's the difference between London and Kakuma, you know. Yes. You know, when you get a message from Kakuma, you're like, are these people really, you know, are they skilled enough to do this work, you know, compared to somebody from London, you know, approaching you, and uh, I mean, bringing into the table a, a proposal, you know, maybe something that wants to deliver to you. So there's that, uh, you know, questioning there. Uh, is this yeah. person 
credible enough? Has he got enough skills? Has he been, uh, you know, much experience in this field compared to somebody? Because we always believe, like, you know, whatever uh, coming from the West, you know, is good compared to what is coming from Africa. Yeah, no. so I think, but we need to make sure that, uh, you know, our point, that is... Uh, you know, I completely standard. agree, Bahana. I think we need to take advantage of the humanitarian angle and we have to break all of these barriers the africa service, service delivery narrative the uh, africa scam stroke trust narrative and whether the person itself is credible and skillful i think we can break all these three narratives uh, by by you know having a credible set of leaders talk about us by having um, you know a credible website, uh, credible videos, you know all sorts of things. You know we can we can do this together. You know in a big way. I, I and I think social media marketing will help us in a big way uh, to break two, three, and four. I really think we should not drop the humanitarian advantage. You know I think it's huge. You know um, the humanitarian advantage is huge. We should uh, take it and break the others which are not. Anyway, we'll come back to the Kakuma equation a little bit later because that is what I have to discuss. But tell about my equation. You know, don't don't go to Kakuma yet. You know, tell about my equation. Why is my thing working better? You know, my profile looks good. My standing is better in my industry. I'm connected to lots of credible people. My account is very active in posting and content, and I have a good geographical thing from where I'm reaching out. What else? You know, you're you've forgotten the most important thing. Hello. Yes. Yes, Mohammed. Uh, I think it is a uh, followers you have. It. You have more followers. Well, yeah, that's the same thing as connectors. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's the same thing. Followers, connectors, you know, same thing. You know, uh, a lot of credible people, like 20K people are connected. So yeah, agreed, Mohammed. What else? But there is one thing. See, this having connected with a lot of people is okay. But there is one thing there which makes it even more credible. Let me just say it myself. Common connections. All right. Let me show you what that means. So this is, where is me? Um, this is me. Um, I'll say, uh, tell me a name of a company, like a big company, maybe Vodafone. Yeah, Vodafone is there, um, you know, 163,000 people, yeah. Um, and uh, this guy, Ahmed, somebody is a CEO of Vodafone UK. Let me take this guy. Um, or um, somebody, anybody in Vodafone, right? So head of strategy, anybody, like, uh, you know, you, you take anybody. This guy is a non-executive director. So I'll take this guy, he seems like a big guy. Um, yeah, Johan is a big guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm actually looking for the chief executive officer of Vodafone, like CEO Vodafone. So if I, if I, um, you know, open the CEO of Vodafone, uh, uh, these are all, you know, yeah, this guy is a CEO, Nick Reed. Yeah, he's a group chief executive. So Nick Reed is the group chief executive officer of the entire 160,000 people of Vodafone, you know, group. So he is the head of um, everybody, even Safaricom, you know, everybody. Yeah. Um, and when, if I say, uh, and this guy is not even active on LinkedIn. How do I know he's not active on LinkedIn? Let me just, you know, make it bigger. Can somebody tell me he's not, I, I'm telling this guy is not active on LinkedIn. Hello. Yeah. Yes, I think it's a small connection we had. Based on this, right? Um, you see, you see how many connections he has. He has ninety-four connections in total, which means yeah. he's not active on you know. So this guy has only ninety-four connections. Okay, just ninety-four. Uh, and maybe we can also check on his uh, content, like the post. Yeah, posting also we can check, you know, he has done something, you know, uh, uh, here, right? But even with this, with this 94 connections, 
I have somebody common between him and him, him and me. Do you see one connection is common between the two of us, Thomas Ellerberg. You, this is a huge advantage. I don't know whether you know I can uh, communicate this right uh, properly. So uh, with this guy, Johan Weiberg, Chief Technology Officer of Vodafone, I have forty-two people connection. You know, mutual between him, him, him and me. There are forty-two people who are mutually connected with me and him. If when you have such a large piece of thing, it is amazing credibility. And who look at who are those people who are connected between me? Rajiv Suri, who is the chief executive officer of a big company. And then there is all these uh, guys who are connected. So what happens is when I send my message to uh, this guy, whoever is this guy is, Johan Weiberg, he sees me as an extremely credible person, right? Extremely credible person. So you know that's why you know. So this is very important. You know the the last one, common connections. I, I showed you. I had one common connection between me and the group CEO. I have forty five common connections between me and the group CTO, right? Uh, Ahmed. Uh, oh, we don't have any common connection between this guy. That's really surprising, actually. <laughs> you know, so I don't have anybody common uh, between me and him. Let's me check. Uh, you know, thing. Yeah, with Sunil Sood, I have 22 people common. That's really surprising. This guy, I don't have any common. Um, anyways, I, I don't know why that is the case. Because, you know, yeah, it's true. We don't share anybody common. Anyway, so uh, I hope you guys uh, understand my thing. Common connection is very important. So this is the reason why my equation is uh, able to get, uh, you know, uh, uh, 75 jobs in the... Okay. In, Yes, yes, Bahana. Hello. I have yes. another another point, Anis. I don't know where, I mean, how to frame it and where to classify it among those points. Uh -huh. You see, for example, you know, I'm uh, from the refugee camp uh -huh. and um, I'm just a teacher at AWA, for example. That's that's the only thing I have under my experience. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know, just a teacher and um, you are giving me a list of uh, CXOs or directors from the US. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know <laughs> these, uh, and then I mean, turn up the credibility. Like uh, when this person looks at my profile and look and says, like, I mean, what is this uh, relationship going to add to me? You know, like I don't know whether you get my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get your point. So see, which is very important, right? So I'll tell you the same example. Okay, uh, I'll do it right now in front of your eyes. Okay, so. Where is our where is the first message? And we will do this as a as a as a as a as a check. Okay. So I'm going to connect with five people and I'm going to see if anybody would connect back with me, you know, by next week, right? Um, because I think you know, Bahana, we both are punching above our weight. You understand what I'm saying? You are punching way above your weight. Do you do you understand this? This this is a I'm keep on using this punching way above your weight statement. Do you understand what that means? Uh, in like in boxing, let's say you are a featherweight champion. Okay, you are 45 kilos, and then there is a heavyweight champion like Mike Tyson who's like 120 kilos, right? You don't. The people never put you from 45 kg category, and uh, and. Uh, ask you to fight with a 120 kg category, correct, Bahana? They will never put you both together to fight because they know that you, 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 are, you are only 45 and he's 120, but you can punch above your weight, you know? Sometimes the guy who's a featherweight champion can win the, you know, the heavyweight champion. Sometimes, not all the time, right? If he has the right technique, if he, if he has an amazing uh, thing, then he can do that. <laughs> That's like chewing something you will not manage to swallow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, if you, uh, we all the time, Nestor, Nestor, all the time in business, I punch above my weight. I punch above my weight all the time. Only people who punch above their weight will achieve something in life. Okay. If you keep playing with the little people, 
doing yeah. little things then you will um, remain over there yeah yeah so, but in order for i mean hamdi abdullah is having fun with uh, something or maybe some kid is having fun on her phone i think <laughs> drawing all the lines uh, so um, what i'm saying is as long as you have a powerful message um yes yunus you want to say something yes yunus yunus you want to say something you are on mute yunus okay so as long as you have a powerful message you can punch above your weight and that's exactly what bahana is doing uh every day and that is what all you all of you are doing with all these 38000 punches you have delivered 38666 punches okay but unfortunately only five punches have landed on the face just five jobs yeah yeah right um so. but when i but the thing is it will land it will land you know because our the power of our message is big and it has to land and it will land and if we address all of these problems mm. right uh, my advantage i need to create it for you which i'm going to tell you how i'm going to create so whatever is my advantage i want to transfer that advantage to you yeah okay that is one thing i cannot i cannot make a school teacher in kakuma suddenly you know Uh, an executive in a big company it's not possible for me bahana correct yes okay i can't do that in the next two days or 20 days i will do it i definitely will do it in the next five years you will be as powerful or even more powerful than me or anybody else bahana i'm very very sure about it very sure right one day you will be at the world economic forum and uh, talking about how you know your life changed but maybe i will never be there <laughs> you see bahana because i just created the the road but you traveled th- that road right I, it's it's important who you know travel not the person who put the road itself okay mm-hmm. so so i'm pretty sure it will change but for the time being we need a uh, we need some you know intermediate solution right which is there uh, bahana but but i am not going to let go of you know this 38000 i'm going to continuously address um you know the service service delivery disadvantage the scam disadvantage the credibility disadvantage the skill disadvantage i think skill i want to write separately skill skill and credibility are two different things right uh you know i want to i want to see how i can you know uh, d- you know convert all of these disadvantages you know number one uh, and and make uh, the other word one so this is why i have this new um, new thing called you know step up dot one canada so what i'm going to do in step up dot one canada is you know let me ask i've identified a volunteer uh, you know who has um, you know a, a good standing right um, in canada right uh, so we are going to create uh, i'm i just wanted to check with jomery so jomery you know you had volunteered to uh, be you know uh, the person behind the canadian thing right um, so you you are sure about it because you know um, i want to make sure that you know you when you take up this job of step up dot one canada then on on behalf of um, the the volunteer who's agreed to do this um, in canada i think i have sent everything you know uh, uh, for you you will now start reaching out to all the cxos of canada uh, from uh, you know uh, her account and you will um, you know uh, you will you know uh, try to win jobs for you and your teams yeah so that's step up dot one canada step up dot one netherlands we are in discussion uh, with me and shem are doing this so jamari can we conclude that you know you will do the step up dot one canada absolutely yes anis okay fantastic and the uh, step up dot one netherlands uh, you know we are going to talk with uh, a lady again you know it's good a lot of ladies are you know coming forward um 
uh, me and Shem are talking with her next week, and we will, you know, decide uh, with Step Up Dot One uh, Netherlands, uh, and we will keep creating these country teams uh, based on, like, for example, Bahana. I'm thinking, you know, this person who wrote your story again. Uh, there's a lady. You remember, there is a lady from uh, from Canada who wrote your story. I think maybe I was thinking we can reach out to her and uh, make her join the Canada team and you can work on behind her. Maybe basically you can work from her shoulders on, on her behalf. You can borrow her credibility to reach out to more people in Canada. What do you think, Bahana? That's a great idea, Anish. Huh? I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Yeah. I, I am sure, I'm sure, you know, all of us say, for example, John, not John Bosco, do we have John Batiste? So John Bosco, I think John Batiste is not there, but uh, I, you can talk to uh, John Batiste. Uh, he already has a mentor, uh, a guy from US. Uh, try to see if we can, you know, um, uh, you know, borrow his credit, uh, his, uh, his, uh, you know, his uh, credibility or his, uh, his identity and uh, we can start a campaign in the US for your team, John Bosco, because he he can win you hundreds of clients easily because he's already a very powerful person in the US and these people can, you know, we can borrow their shoulders. I mean, like we're just going to simply stand on their shoulders. We don't need anything else. We are not asking for money. We are not asking them for, uh, you know, anything, donation, nothing. You know, we, we want them to trust us we we want them to you know um, and and they are anyway not using their linkedin you know in a big way and if you think about it john bosco we we are going to you know um, we are you know we are going to anyway use him and you know we are going to connect with all the top guys in the us anyways correct so it is going to be an advantage for that person also the volunteer is not is not getting anything in return you know he is going to get something in return Right, John Bosco? Yeah, right. Yes, oh. I understand. I'm going to talk to Jean Baptiste. Okay. And then well, he, actually, Jean Baptiste is here in this call, actually. I see that but Jean Baptiste is here in this call also. I don't know why he's, con he's continuously, you know, dropping off for some reason. Okay. okay. I talk to John, John Baptiste and see if he can, you know. And for you also, uh, John Bosco, I think, you know, all of you, all of you must know somebody or somebody who can Whose, whose shoulders you can borrow, right? Um, and we will start, and we don't, and we don't need to do this, you know, like one by one, right? We can keep creating step up Canada, step up Netherlands, step up dot one USA, um, you know, and each and each each person can, you know, bring one one person, and they can be there. So what I'm saying here is, guys, I hope you guys get it right. So there is this me fighting the game just by myself. There is you who's fighting it, you know, with hundreds of you. The third one we are creating is the, you know, the country based volunteers whose um, shoulders we will stand on. For what? For basically doing the same thing, right? Number one. Yeah. So, so I was thinking that we should. Um, you know, do this properly. Yeah, is this um, is is this clear, guys? You know, do you know what to do? I can, I can create a message. I think Muhammad and you know there was a message which we created also for um, for potential uh, volunteers. I think you know we created a message for potential volunteers. Um, I think you know I'll I'll, I'll come back I'll, I'll come back to that. You know, on this yeah. yeah, I think this is the one. This is the one. Yeah. Oh, no, no, this is not the one. This is uh, for uh, Kenya to do some video. Anyway, I'll come back to I mean, We can, we can, like, uh, I, I will come back with a message that you can share with your potential volunteers uh, where it will say, look, this is our game plan. This is what we want to do. We would like to do it on behalf of you. This is what you gain. This is what I gain. What I gain is jobs. What you gain is powerful connections in the simple words is this clear to everybody yes it's it's yes, me it sounds clear. great and it sounds great okay cool so yeah 
yes yes do yeah cool okay so these are the three things that i wanted to do you know in today's call but it's already like one hour since we started and we are not even you know um okay um there are a few more things that you know people want to cover let 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 me just you know quickly cover this thing right so what can we do to bring the social media marketing to the same speed that we have in selling um these are our channels you know uh, let me tell you what we are already doing okay um we are what are we doing already we are doing um um so for example restin is uh, you know uh, um is notifying no first i'll start with paul paul is going is doing is uh, posting the uh, welcome to or no 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 i have stepped up okay i have stepped up will you so he is doing this for every graduate right so paul is doing this right um, uh, you know you, you know what this what what this right i hope you guys know this right you know we, we he's been doing it for like many months now so what is this this is this is the one so hey, how do i get rid of this uh, thing actually somebody has <laughs> i think it is hamdi who has annotated my entire thing how do i erase this out clear okay. clear all drawings okay i think some kid has played with hamdi's phone it looks like to me anyway so um Uh, um, so this one, these posts, you know, so Bugashani has stepped up with you. So this is what uh, you know Paul is doing. Uh, can can I please ask every one of you? Can I please ask every one of you to make this one and send it to Paul? Is that difficult for you to do? Please, could you could you please do this? You know, so this one, you know, uh, with with a little bit of things that you want to say about yourself. So Paul could keep posting this. um you know um uh um yeah can you please do this you know it's an important one paul 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 will keep posting it every second day every third day you know um so this is what paul is doing right so uh, uh, and i want all of you to uh, you know say, uh, paul is posting this and what should you do all all of you should um, please send this picture and post to paul yeah number one then what westin is doing westin is notifying the employees there are more than 130 employees now every day so that is what westin is doing right now right what else can we do other than this what else can we do i have just put in a, a, a thing saying that uh, when anyone um when anyone uh, you know finds a good uh, finds a good post then they can notify uh, paul and uh, you know john bosco uh, uh westin or um, yeah here yeah. one of these people right i have i have talked about is there any other way see because this is important people you know we need to figure out a way to go full speed on i i i don't even mind you know if all of us if we have 10 post every single day on step up dot one i don't mind as long as it is original and as long as you do you are doing it right how do we do that people i need ideas you know people like let's say kenya you know is actually trying to you know do videos and stuff like that because you know that's that's too much you know i, I cannot ask everybody here to start doing videos um you know you can if you want to right um uh but i don't know whether i can ask everybody to do videos because you know doing videos is amazing maybe some of you are really good at it uh, like kenya is extraordinary in doing videos i already showed a video last week uh, john bosco is very good uh, i showed his video also or we can send you his video but i don't know whether all of us i can't do such videos i don't know how to do such good videos but many of you could do right so you know uh, i need more original content any any thoughts ideas you know guys because you know we really need to do this yes uh, anish yes 
I have a question. I see you have said that when anyone find a good post, they can notify at Paul, John Bosco, and the best team. Yeah. Now, those posts is from where? Uh, anywhere. It can be anywhere. It can anywhere. be anywhere. Yeah, of, yeah. Of any, your choice. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything, you know, it can be anything. So, for example, look at this post. I, I, yesterday, I notified uh, John Bosco about this one. I, I wrote these two, two lines. Then I, I put this one. Okay, uh, it's one of the many, you know, it's a nice, I saw this video, I really liked it. Okay, and uh, I put it over here. And then John Bosco or Paul Padiet, I don't know who did this. They posted it here. And it's already got 15 likes and two comments. Is that clear? Yeah, any anything. It need not be so. You you can uh, do your own thing. For example, Kenya is going to do her own thing. You know, so she's going to create a video, which probably we'll see like next week. Uh, you know, talking about step up uh, and appealing to the audience. Um, you know, maybe the maybe we can we can create a video. Uh, uh, what do you say, John Bosco and uh, Kenya and anybody else who can create videos? Uh, maybe we can create a video for this one. Um, also, like you know, uh, like like uh, appealing to all the volunteers to come and help us. I don't know what do you think. You know, we can try to do that. Um, but any other ideas? Because you know, guys, we can't have the same post again and again. We can't have Kiza stepped up, Westin stepped up, Jackson stepped up. You know, we can't be having the same thing again and again. It has to have. So we have to have this one. We have to have this one. Then we have to have a you know uh, the the. The, the you know this one it, you you can't be just having the same thing again and again we'll lose all our credibility what else can we do people you know i want concrete actions concrete steps that you can do so i have said uh, you know can people create videos so kenya is creating a video i mean not a video she'll create many videos uh, john bosco is creating a few videos um, you know, what about other things? So, any ideas? Pahana, John Bosco, Joel, uh, you know, do you guys have any ideas how we can, um, um, you know, do, and, and obviously there are four channels of so four, you know, we have Instagram, we have, we have so many different, different channels. So it's not just one thing. Any ideas or thoughts how we can systematically make social marketing go go full full speed yes and miss yes please yeah do you think it's also good to maybe randomly post either a quote that's a motivation quote related to what you are doing yes yes as long as as long as it has a very lovely you know uh, picture sure okay yes motivational quotes are also fine um not my, my not my preferred uh, you know motivational quotes are fine can we appoint somebody to do this actually you know um, who will be doing this so anybody can send that quote uh, along with uh, you know Canva. I'm sure you know how to do it already, right? So go to Canva and uh, create the motivational quote and share it with maybe you know uh, who else is there? You know maybe Yahya. Share it. Share it with Yahya, and you know he will uh, um, he will uh, you know uh, make sure it gets posted on all channels in Canva and send it to. Yeah, yeah. Any, any, anything else? And uh, sorry, one more thing I said. Whenever we post anything, you know, we we should make sure that we immediately share it and like it. And if if you can, you know, write a comment on it. Right. I see this, you know, uh, consistently happening from John Bosco. Every time I say something, 
he always has a comment i i really think that's an amazing ability i don't think i can do this myself but i really think all of you should try this is the most harmless uh, no repercussion thing that you can ever come to if you cannot comment on your own company's post you think you are going to be able to do it for your client if you do not have the courage if you do not have the courage to do it for your own company how are you going to do it for a client who's paying for you you will not get it i guarantee you you will not get it so start practicing here before it becomes pretty serious because you know if you if you don't do well a good job you will not be able to continue for your client i'm just putting abdul 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 mahat mute anything else people you know i mean there are so many brilliant people in this uh, call i just want more ideas what else can we do to make our social media fly currently it is crawling okay. yeah sorry anis go ahead yeah since you have said that we will mention difference between individual marketing and company company marketing you didn't see it up to now oh my god kaposa i heard you know half of what you said i don't know whether can you so put i need to i'm already forget to write no kaposa you know you your audio didn't work for me i don't know whether it worked for other people yeah yeah i think it's no kaposa kaposa it's not working can you please type your question please you know can you please put your question in chat it's not working i think you talked about social media uh, marketing for companies which i'm going to teach you know in the next 2 3 minutes uh, but uh, can you please you know put your question in chat i'll keep the chat open right now because i'm not able to you know hey jackson are you able to see the screen now yes okay cool we will wait for you know um kaposa to chat or write his question but any anything else we can do window yes shabani enter yes joel uh hi anis can you hear me very well okay no i was also thinking one thing that can also make our our profile like the step up uh, accounts to be uh, uh, like to get more attention uh, i don't know if it's something practical with linkedin is to boost some of the article like the post that we might post put on here sometimes that we think can attract more clients or more audience like there is a way i i know if facebook you boost a post and say like you target a certain region ah. and say to reach so many people to reach maybe a thousand people yeah. 5000 10000 yeah i don't this know one, this one right you know you're talking about this boost post yeah automatic uh, you know uh, yeah so this specific thing right so um you know basically it's money we need to pay money and you know they will post for example so if you pay 14 pounds um they will reach 1000 people so if you if you pay you know 10 so which means you know if you pay 100 pounds or let's say 100 dollars if you pay 100 dollars uh, they will reach um, you know uh, 10000 people because uh, uh, anisa was thinking yes it's it's about money but also for us to get something we have to invest in something and this is to get to all leaders uh, like team leaders since we are fighting to get more people on board i think we have also to invest and we have to look for article or any post that will be relevant for a particular region or place 
so that we reach so many people, as many as possible ones, and who can be attracted by the work. And, you know, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. And uh, maybe we can brainstorm on how to do it in terms of payments, but I think it's also a good way to reach people out there. Yeah. No, I agree. Joel, let me try this, okay? I'm gonna try doing that on, I'll, I'll spend, you know, a hundred dollars on uh, Facebook just to see how it works. And I will spend a hundred dollars on, um, you know, uh, LinkedIn. We'll try these two channels and see what happens. Yeah, sure. I, I think that one will work perfectly. And then one thing is like maybe to target some region based on the article that we are sharing. Yeah. Say, for example, if you're targeting East Africa or Europe or US, I think it will be more relevant than just putting it out to the entire world because you will oh. have a, a small portion based on what you are looking at. Because the video that we shared, mm. you shared actually, I think it's more relevant to a lot of people. So it's up to us to say which, uh, you know, region are we targeting currently and where we have potential, we might have potential customers and we boost it in that region and, and see what will be the, how, the outcome. That's my thought. No, no, I completely agree with you. I think, you know, this will be super specific. I have already uh, started doing that, uh, uh, you know, see, my my only worry is we have a hundred and thirty. Uh, yes. Yes, Bahana. Uh, I have, yeah, I don't know. I have a slight worry about uh, that approach. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would mean we are doing paid marketing. Uh, yes. Then I don't know how will we, how will we do how will we, you know, uh, do the same for the clients, you know, because <laughs> I thought uh, we, we major mostly in organic, you know, marketing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, because then we we'll need to do no, the no, same look, for our clients. Bah bah look, Bahana, we are not yes. against paid marketing. We are not saying paid marketing is bad, okay? We are not saying that. I we agree, can, but yeah. uh, uh, if... I don't know. I'm just trying to understand it. Better. Like, I, I also want know. to understand what is our focus. Yeah. Is it a sponsored ad or organic ad? There is I'm, only a bit, I'm, I'm a bit on, on the same line with uh, Bahana. Yes, yes. So our focus is, uh, you know, is only one thing. Our focus is to grow everything organically. Okay. We don't want to pay any money to anybody to post or promote us. Okay. Uh, but Joel is giving an idea uh, that why don't we try doing paid marketing and see what happens, right? Uh, I'm actually very much okay with that idea as long as, you know, uh, we see what happens. Let me see, let me spend some money and uh, see what is the result we are going to get, right? I want to try it out. I'm not saying I, I uh, you know, I don't have the money to spend. If I have the money to spend, I would have done it already, right? Uh, you know, so we it's not a sustainable model. We, are, we cannot be marketing with money, but I'm going to try it out, Joel. I'm going to try that out to see what happens. You know, I want to see whether it works, right? Um, Hello, Anis. Yes, Edi. I, I have my thought and I don't know if I'll put it correctly, but I will be appreciated if you can help me understand this. Yes. Uh, most of the time when you meet these clients, they ask, they are always focused into reducing the cost, but increasing the efficiency of maybe the reach. And uh, if I look at uh, the client that I'm working for, Ravi, mm -hmm. I know the contact that I'm sending right now, the connection, you used a uh, sales navigator and you bought that uh, sales navigator. I mean, you paid for it to get the contact. Yeah. It's already like a sponsored in a, in a way. Yes. So yes, it is. now yes. again, again, when you add again the idea of sponsoring the post, do you think, don't you think you are increasing the cost to a client? Just to give you, and that's a very, very good question. I, I mean, you know, I don't know how many people are even understood the question. It's a very, very good question. Uh, today, paid marketing is not a part of our service. 
Is that clear to everybody? We do not offer this service to our client, paid marketing. Right? But do you do you know the size of the paid marketing? Like, well, I don't know what to say. The market, the market size of the paid marketing. Do you does anybody know what is the size of that paid marketing world? Ahadi? It's a billion, billion dollar. You know? The billion companies million. are spending, yeah, the company are spending millions, huh? you know. Mil millions, billions, money. wrong, wrong, wrong. Anybody can take a guess? How many billions? Uh, Ahadi, I'm not able to hear you if you're speaking, but I'm going to put you on mute because you're not speaking. See, Facebook alone makes $100 billion. Facebook alone, just, to, just through paid marketing. Okay, if we, if we put paid marketing across Facebook, Google, uh, you know, WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, uh, we are talking about at least $1 trillion, $1 trillion. That is, you know, $100 billion. Sorry, $1 trillion must be more than $100 billion. It must be 1000 I think. So it, it is that big. So, you know, do you think People are stupid spending $1 trillion of money on paid marketing. If it doesn't work, it is definitely working for them. Right? We need to learn it. We need to learn it, but it is not a time for us to you know, offer it, but we need to learn it. We need to use it. It is one of the weapons in our armory. It, it will become one of our weapons soon. I, I, I didn't want to start with that. It, the paid marketing is a weapon that many large companies are using today. People, you know, Bahana said millions, but I say billions, right? Billions of dollars are being spent on paid marketing by companies and we are not we are not targeting big companies that is why we stay away from that you want to say something abde mahat i'm sorry no you sir know, no sir yeah okay you everything know, understood then. yes you want to say something yes, sir. hello yeah do you want to say something yunus Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, I, you can chat, Yunus. What about Kaposa? Kaposa, do you want to put your question in the chat? I don't. I haven't seen your question yet. I was waiting, waiting for your question, Kaposa. Now, Anis. Yeah. Maybe because no one is talking. I also have something here. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at what we are doing is generally big generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think if we start sponsor, sponsoring the ad, do you think we'll still be in the same objective? Or would be shifting. Uh, our objective is exactly the same to reach a particular destination, right? Which is to get jobs for all of you, not one, not two, uh, but as many as you can. If you, if you, you know, hundreds, if you want. That's our only objective. And our objective is that you learn, you earn, you become an entrepreneur, you become a leader, you become a, you know. Um, you know, you literally have your own company, you know, with all your teams. That's our objective. In order to achieve our objectives, you know, let's say you have to move from point A to point B. You can walk. You can cycle. You can, you know, take a car, cab. You can, you know, take a helicopter for some of the distance and you can fly in an airplane. Correct? Uh, walking is very easy. Walking, you don't have to pay any money to anybody. Running is slightly difficult. You don't have to pay any money to anybody for running. Cycling is slightly better. But if you don't have a cycle, then you have to borrow the cycle or buy the cycle. Okay, flying is the best. <laughs> but it will going to cost you enormous amount of money, but you will reach there fast. 
so paid marketing is like the cycle that you don't have is like the car that you can possibly you know hire or the flight that you can so paid marketing is like that we do not deviate from our objective we just want to try different means of transport to get to our objective is that clear ready Yes, and I, I just wanted to, maybe I, I don't know if people are getting this idea in the wrong way, but uh, maybe to just clarify on what Anis is saying, or maybe to what you are thinking. We, we, are not, we are not trying to, let me say, if you are working on a client's project, we are not doing it with the work that we are doing for the client. Coming to the work itself, we are, we are continuing to do it the way we, we have been doing it, uh, like let me say manually or organically. But uh, we have also to brand ourselves. The way we are just strategize on uh, posts, on uh, content, that the same way we are trying, since there is no need for us to work on content and uh, maybe say quotes and other way, things that we can agreed on and then there is no one who is going to you know to see what we are doing and uh, i think our main objective is to reach as many people as possible that way we have been sending messages to people who some of them have not yet to respond and maybe connecting back and then reaching out like trying to bring ourselves to reach so many people it's like as i said like using you know flying than walking, that's what we are just trying to see. If it's something that can can work, it's just a trial. And I'm sure it will reach so many people and so, so many people will get to know what is step up. You know, once someone is interested in a certain article, in a certain message, they will go and visit the website, they will try to see uh, how they can learn more about, uh, about their, our work. And that's how we attract potential customers of, you know, people who that are willing to offer us a job. I think that's what we are just trying to see. We are not changing anything. It's just a way of branding ourselves and putting ourselves out there so that people might know about us and our work. I think uh, just to clarify on that. Thank you. That's a very, very good uh, I point. have a question. Eh? Yeah, please. Uh, I, I have a, a question. Yes, Bahana, shoot. Yes, I actually, I like the idea because at the end of the day, the, the only objective is to, you know, get clients and, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, make sure that uh, things go uh, the way we want them to, you know, to, to go. Um, but my, my, my worry, because, uh, okay, uh, we also need to appreciate that, uh, you know, there exist companies that uh, don't do uh, paid marketing, but they still thrive huh, in, the, in the market. Uh, and I can't list them, but there are many and they're there and we all know them. Uh, at the same time, I just want to understand because uh, what if, if we try this approach and it works for us? Huh? So we've invested money and um, it works. Let's say, you know, we've done uh, this paid marketing and it has tried it and it works. Uh, are we going to continue with it? Uh, because we are doing marketing for some of our clients and um, in the event the client says that, uh, you know, uh, the approach is not working, is giving us such feedback. We do advise the client to go, you know, paid marketing or not. So that's my question. Thank you. Uh, there are two questions, Bahana, in this uh, amazing question that you have just asked. I'm going to stop your video, Malu. Okay. One is, um, one is, you know, paid marketing. We do, we do paid. So step up dot one does paid marketing. Okay. So this is paid marketing. I'm just showing you the campaign manager of how to do paid marketing. Maybe I'll teach you how to do it next week. Uh, but, um, you know, I just uploaded, you know, um, all the top companies in the world. You know, there are 2000 number one companies in the world. I have uploaded all of them. And, um, you know, I'm going to show you how to do it. Eunice, if you don't mind, just wait for one minute. I'm going to show you next week how to do this campaign or how to do this paid marketing using LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, but, uh, but Bahana, as usual, has asked some two brilliant questions. One, uh, if the paid marketing that we do starts to work, starts to deliver the results, then are we going to continue to do it? 
right? It might seem like a, a, a silly question, but it's very powerful because who's going to pay for it? If you are going to do paid marketing, uh, you know, uh, and it works great, it is working, but you know, we need a mechanism to make it sustainable. Correct. It's not anything, anything that you do, which is not sustainable, right, uh, is bad for you, you know. Uh, so we have to find an answer for that bahana, how to make it sustainable. Or I, I feel already we are doing, we started doing one thing that is not sustainable we, by announcing this competition. Uh, we said we will pay everybody 500 shillings and 5,000 Rwandan francs uh, who is able to connect to more than 400 clients in a month, correct? We already put that out over there. Uh, Bahana is the first person to ask me, where are you going to get that money from? Who's going to pay for this? So that is also something that is unsustainable. You know, uh, anything where we do not know how it's going to come back to us, where how the money is going to come back to us, is unsustainable and it cannot be done, uh, you know, continuously, right? So we have to, uh, Bahana, you know, that's a very important question and, and, uh, and uh, I do not know the answer for both of them, <laughs> right? But I think we should try it out. We should see how it succeeds, number one. Number two, if this succeeds for us, should we, uh, you know, recommend it for our clients? Uh, I think we should at some point in time. Okay. So, for example, if our if if we spend a hundred dollars for a client to do uh, LinkedIn ads per month, uh, we can charge, you know, like uh, twenty dollars on top of it to uh, to keep it our. So basically, twenty percent. So if if our client is going to spend the thousand dollars, then we want. $200 to manage that campaign. So 20% of the campaign budget will be our money to keep something like that. We'll have to you know, work out a way to charge our clients, but we should definitely uh, have this as a part of our arsenal, our, our uh, toolkit. So that's the answer to your question, Bahana. We should definitely have this as a part of our arsenal, uh, but I do not yet know when should we start doing it. But it should be. We should have it, right? Okay, cool. Okay, let's go back. Um, you know, uh, to where we started. Um, so, is, is yes. there something to say? Yes, I have something to say. I'm supporting the idea of uh, that Joel raised. Because you can see we are struggling on our side. And I don't know that paid market will help. Because we're really struggling to, to see how we can work hard and reach out there. There's nothing good that we get without paying. So if you rely on free things or organic market, as we're saying it, I think we shall be, uh, we shall be just down. But if you want to fly, I think Sure. No, um, spending some little idea. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I have something also to add there. Yes. Yes, John Bosco. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, I like the idea of Joel because uh, uh, she brings something new. Maybe we didn't think of before to try, but. It's, uh, it's now that we can try it. And I like that you welcome the idea of trying it and see how it works. Um, maybe we should not worry about maybe how we approach this once we find it successful, because we also see like we take time to, to, to try to figure out, brainstorm different ways to approach it and decide whether we can um, incorporate this in our strategies or not, depending on its feasibility. So uh, another thing I want to talk about, maybe there are some people among us who are doubting maybe uh, the quality of those uh, people we are trying to reach when we pay for them or pay for a campaign. 
you know, we still reach out uh, to clients who are organic because uh, when we pay for a campaign to, to advertise maybe on uh, LinkedIn or Facebook, we are telling, like we are uh, going to LinkedIn to Facebook to help us reach out to the target uh, clients uh, because they store data, they know how the 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 people interact with their uh, with the post with their uh, accounts. They have different different data that they store about everyone. LinkedIn knows what you like. Uh, uh, Facebook knows which time you spend on Facebook and the type of posts you like most of the time. So uh, when you you pay for a campaign, they try to 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 they try to connect you with the right people. Maybe if you, your campaign has a, a, a goal of brand awareness, you want to increase your brand awareness, you want to... Hey, John Bosco. People who might be interested in your services or product doing, help you know the right people to or your post to do. So this is something you can try and see how it works. If we find it's not working, we shall put it aside. That's what I think. Thank you. Got it. Okay. Uh, step up, but have also some questions to ask for new graduates. Yes, Bahana. Yes, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, for giving me the opportunity once again, but I'm sorry for talking too much today. I also have another idea, Anis. I don't know whether you've tried uh, this. Um, can we also think of, um, you know, influencer marketing, particularly media houses? Can we launch like a campaign for media coverage of Step Up? You know, people reach to different media, you know, outlets, you know, LinkedIn, and I mean, if let's say if we could get let's say two to three articles about Step Up out there, I think that also increase uh, our outreach and uh, you know reputation. I don't know what you guys think about it. Mm, that's a that's a brilliant brilliant idea. Mm, how to how how to do that? Should we do it exactly the same way we do our social media selling? I think so. Or you know. So you know what we do. We, or in, yeah. Yeah, I actually don't have uh, you know the correct approach. Maybe we can brainstorm and see what could be you mm -hmm. know the mm -hmm. right approach. Yeah, it's a fantastic idea. So basically what we are saying is, you know, let's take the industry, which is, um, I mean, which media will cover us first? You know, maybe African media or you think European media? Let's take UK. Um, let's take media, broadcast media, online media, Okay, let's take everybody. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Um, so let's take these guys. Mm. Maybe large companies, right? So Comcast, ESPN, CNN, BBC, Sky, ITV. Yeah, these are all the right people. We can just go to uh, people at the, you know, like a big ones. Maybe. Uh, maybe we need to identify a title that might. Um, this is a very good idea, Bahana, because, you know, maybe these people could even become our clients. Or they could become our, um, you know, the, the people who can tell the story, or our volunteer. One of these three. Uh, we just need to identify the right, uh, right, uh, you know, uh, title basically. You know, so maybe I don't know how you will call it: video producer, content producer, editor. Oh, I don't know what do you call them. Editor of audio programming at the New York Times. Guardian Media. Yeah, I'm just thinking, yeah, why don't we do that? Hmm? 
seems like a good idea. Editor, US News at LinkedIn. Mm. You can do this, you know, it's an amazing idea, Bahana. 5,500 people, you can easily do it. Very good idea. Um, so Shabani, you're asking us uh, a good question. Um, I think for you, uh, you know, the best, you know, she's asking, you know, what is the, uh, you know, how do we send the invitation, et cetera, et cetera. And my answer to that is just simply follow the steps in our list, uh, Shabani. I think that is, a, that is the only answer. So all you have to do is, you know, um, um, you know, uh, just go to that uh, instructions and, you know, you should be able to get this. This is the, this is the only thing you need to follow. Don't worry about how to send, not to send, you know, let me copy it another time and share it with you. Go to this. I hope, you I'm know, sorry. yeah. I'm sorry, because you have said last uh, in your, one of your videos, you have said that uh, once you send invitations to your potential client, you need to check every time the response. Uh -huh. And if there is any response, then uh -huh. answer his question and send a slide back. Yes. See, now, uh, my question is now, what is a slide back? Oh, because okay. You that, said, okay. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. It's here, actually. So if you go to the same link, you know, if you go here, it is there as one of the tasks. So, um, it is a third message, you know, so uh, let me just make this smaller so that it's easy for everybody to see. So uh, step number, uh, meet with the put engage, connect with your target individually. So if you go to connect with your individual thing, so this is the first message. Um, what is the second message? Okay, this must be the second message. Okay, so this is the second message. And this is the third message. Please find attached a detailed deck about step up dot one here. Let me just click on this link and see if uh, this link is not working. Okay, let me just quickly change this because I think uh, um, this link is having some issue. So yeah, this is where you have to go and send the third message. Is that clear? Um, I changed this link and it's, you know, it's creating some problem. Okay. Um, So this one, uh, this one, uh, Shabani, I hope uh, it is clear to you. Thank you. Okay, I'll just have to change this uh, link actually. Um, I'll do that right away because I think I keep forgetting to do it. Any, any other questions, people? Uh, how do we do this broadcast media thing, Bahana? I mean, I, I can identify the target audience. I can give the first message and then second message. Uh, but how do we go about doing it, actually? Do you want to, should we put a few people to focus on each country? Yeah, we need credible people again. Huh? Hmm. Should we start uh, maybe from me? Just, you know, I, I you know, uh, from my yeah. profile to the, you know, huh? So I will yeah, sure. I will share my profile details with you, Bahana, and uh, I will share that LinkedIn. Um, you know the people. You can start doing it. You know we'll we'll experiment with the, like you know uh, for one month and see the results. Sure. Hmm? And uh, we can also use that. Uh, maybe should we do that? Uh, you know, um, you know for the I mean. Even the Canada, Step Up dot one Canada, John Mary, should we do that first? Should we go after the broadcast media in Canada first before we go for clients? Because the broadcast media gives a very good, you know, you know, even if the guys don't want our, uh, they don't put our story, they might actually put our, um, 
you know, become our client actually. So let's let's try it out with me and Canada and let's see where it takes us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's we also bit, tried right? the paid marketing. Yeah, I'll yeah paid marketing. I'm gonna try it. I I will. I've I'm already started doing that bahana. Just that my you know, um, uh, I think you know. Um, I I want to also show you how to do it, um, so that you will learn along with you know everybody else. Um, yeah, but sure. I, I I will definitely do it because you know I started doing it you know a couple of weeks ago. I set up this account. Uh, you know, so this is the campaign. If you go into the campaign, you know, uh, this is the video that I want to, you know, uh, bo boost. Uh, I'm, I'm right now selecting the audience. You know, I'm going really specific audience, right? I'm, I have created a list called matched audience, which is a list of all the top 2000 companies in the world with 32 million people inside that. I need to now select, you know, a very specific list from this, uh, you know, uh, people because uh, it's, it's a large number. Right, I need to reduce that to you know like a million people or a half a million people. I'll do that and I'll show you next week. Right, um, so that's that. Uh, there is also a few more updates. You know the the uh, you know the meetings with UNHCR is also going really well. Um, they are uh, introducing me to get the spaces. You know, so we are having a meeting with Mastercard. We are having a meeting with uh, we are having with a few more meetings for getting laptops for everybody. Um, you know, they, they, uh, you know there is a, there is a bunch of people who are really you know helping. Like there is a new person called Jenny Taylor in Nairobi. Maybe you know, uh, Mohammed. You know, I have marked you in a few emails. Uh, Joel and Mohammed, you guys can you know take a chance. Go meet uh, Jenny if you already know her. Then it is great. But if you don't know Jenny, you know, I think uh, she's phenomenal. She's like really helping uh, us like anything. You know, Mohammed Hure is also helping. He's, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm having a meeting with Mohammed's boss, uh, Hure's boss, you know, next week uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, so, so there is a massive amount of push from UNHCR also to make our project uh, successful. Uh, but um, I'm thinking, you know, people in Nairobi like Joel and Mahmoud, if you guys can go meet with Jenny in person, uh, that will be amazing actually, because Jenny seems to be bringing a lot of new, fresh, fresh energy to, you know, we are meeting her almost every week. She's setting up many meetings by herself uh, with other people, not, you know, with, uh, you know, she's helping with MasterCard. MasterCard is very keen to help us. So lots of uh, good activity, but but I'm not sharing all of those things here because, you know, uh, those are all happening on the side. Our focus is always, you know, we want to get our jobs ourselves. You know, that has been our core uh, vision, right? We don't need help from anybody. We will get it ourselves. But I am not letting the other things also, you know, lose. They are also happening. They are also coming. Um, so hopefully, so look, if you look at this, you know, these are all our meeting uh, notes. Um, and we are really, you know, um, uh, working with, uh, so if you look at these are all our notes, um, you know, there is a company called Techno Mobile that we are working with, you know, uh, uh, Becky is uh, Hore's boss. Uh, she's going to introduce us to Vodafone. Uh, MasterCard email has been sent by Jenny. So, so really good stuff, actually. A lot of good stuff is happening with uh, UNHCR. There is a person called Meshak uh, who's trying to help us, you know, spaces and infrastructure that we have listed uh, you know so and and there is another one guys i just wanted to quickly you know ask you just one minute uh, see uh, our good friend nial right you know he got admission into uh, huron i guess right some university both berkeley and huron uh, i'm sure bahana you know about this so i'm trying to work with nial and see how we could replicate that like for example you know exactly the same steps that he has taken you know could we bring it in our step-by-step -step guide and uh, have a hundred people from kakuma go to universities next year i you know it's it's not our core principle uh, but why should uh, you know you know we not try that as well you know uh, because it doesn't matter whether you go to school university wherever you work our business will continue your teams will continue you can do this easily 
right you are doing one job anyway something or the other and you are also doing this so you know you can so that is another one that we are starting to work on uh, just in case if anybody has an idea to you know uh, um um yeah i think mohammed abdul qadir is saying you know make the most of live videos or live streams with step up dot fun um yeah i i i don't know how to do that uh, but if you uh, if there must be some other expert like for example you know like kenya and other people are very good in doing live videos i am not really good in doing live videos or live streams um you know um but uh, it's a good idea mohammed you know if you have some ideas if you can start doing these live streams that'll be amazing you know uh, uh, you know maybe we can start a live streaming event mohammed like we can do an event for all the uh, you know tell you know maybe media companies or something like that you no know, i we need to think about that mohammed you know let's let's think uh, i'm not entirely sure how to do it right now um yeah so if if shabani if a client to say how can i help then you send him the second message you know uh, clearly you know just send him the second message yeah um hello anis this is shaila yes yeah, shaila so talking about the um, the connections i did not redraw a lot of connections the number of spent connections decreases whenever someone accepts an invitation Sure. Well, I withdrew some connections uh, after that hackathon where you told us that uh, okay. we can withdraw some connections, and I withdrew like twenty, mm -hmm. but not many. Uh, so that eight hundred sixteen is yep. actually to show you that out of the one thousand forty six, I uh, the connections I sent. uh 816 people have been connected back okay. and right, right now like five people connected back and it is 811 okay no so the number keeps decreasing whenever someone con uh, accepts the invitation sure uh, shaila can you share your screen and show me you know your total number of connections please would it be possible for you to share your screen uh, what is your total number of connections total my your connections my connections yeah total number of connections total not this one I this have, is... yeah i have uh, 285 how many 285 yeah i see so And let's get this most of these people i mm -hmm. got them here at least in the connections because i created this account last year like in november but i didn't have any connections so these connections came from uh, working with stepup okay that's amazing actually so you have 816 uh, you know pending you have yeah, nearly 300 have you have connected. nearly yeah you have 300 nearly who's already connected so that is yeah. 800 900 uh, 1000 1116 and uh, your total is 1000 yeah you said you have withdrawn around uh, so your your account adds up really well um, sheila um, uh, i think um, I, if uh, I'll, i'll 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 wait for a few more minute, this thing and uh, and i also want to check with you know donald unfortunately is three more you know than you so i can't give the job to you you know uh, i want to quickly check with donald also um you know uh, about his thing so donald is uh, here uh, is is donald here in this call this is very surprising you know people get the job and they stop uh, responding <laughs> you know they work so hard to get a job and then when the actual job is there nobody is responding so he is connected with 751 all i want is you know his total connections and the same with sadak you know all i want isra is to is two things one is how many connections he has sent and what is his total number of connections when i add them both i will know whether you know um, they uh, you know add up to 1150 or whatever right you know if they add up to 1150 and if they withdraw 1020 i don't mind right so you know um, right now we have a job immediately to be given and i think that job job should go to sadak right now immediately 
uh, we are getting you know one you know by next week uh, sheila i'm sure you know if you continue the pace you, you will get yours you know i wouldn't worry too much about it but um, um but uh, it's good that you're not withdrawing anything so please continue you know you're really in the top top 3 or 2 so you know you you will land your job uh, in the next couple of weeks easily all right that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, we have time for this week i think it's been a very very productive and a fruitful discussion uh, this time um i think uh, i will i will try to you know um, cover a few things that i couldn't do this week uh, next week uh, but i will share with you uh, this whole company thing you know uh, what is this company thing because i think it's it's really getting very interesting uh, uh, how to work for a company because we have two clients who has asked for uh me to help them especially you know uh, mohammed abdul qadir and ahmed ali both of you you know try to see if you can work for the company thing because both have asked you know uh, from your side and paul all right that's pretty much it for this time i think uh, let's uh, uh, meet next time and you know if you still have more questions just keep on sending to me in whatsapp all right guys thank you very much bye 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 guys bye, bye everybody Bye 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 Bahana. Bye bye. Bye John. Bye 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 Hanis. Bye bye. Bye John. Bye bye Mr. Anish. Bye class. Bye bye. Bye Ahmed. Can it work? Thank you Ahmed. Bye Shabani.